This space is her sanctuary, the only place in which she reigns supreme. Removed from the money, men, and minimums that have shaped her consciousness, even if only for a moment, it still does a woman good to let her mind get away sometimes. My mama's life has seen so much suffering, riddled with porn rains and hunger pains that she can now soothe away in her own kitchen. It only took her 50 years to get there. Sometimes she can't stand those memories, that table, those chairs, these walls. Going through her adolescence, she experienced the life's lessons that women twice her age couldn't fathom. She was birthed, loved, and left in that kitchen, all by the time she was seven. Over the years, she tried to walk away but couldn't, had dreams of moving on, but in her heart, she knew she shouldn't, so she settled helping to prepare the meals in that ghetto kitchen with her grandmother alongside since mama was too busy with the streets to be occupied. She wouldn't leave hungry the woman that raised her even if it meant starving her own soul. I too was reared in that kitchen and my heart harbors the same bitterness that generations before me have also experienced. <laughs> I guess that's the hood's version of collective memory. But those women made sure to nourish my body as well as my spirit. But still, I can hear those words, remember those smells, taste her tears that mix with mine, watching daddy's back leave the kitchen, just as granddaddy's did 30 years before. Maybe that's why I understand. I only wish that I could be as strong as her. Our lives have seen so much suffering, riddled with pouring rains and hunger pains that my mama can now soothe away in her own kitchen. She made sure it won't take me 50 years to get there. Thank you.